I've had lots of experiences with students with disabilities. Um, everything from short-term things like people breaking an arm and needing to have help in the lab, all the way to uh, working with interpreters for students with severe hearing loss, working with students who um, are marginally sighted. Other instances come on a day-to-day -day basis. You have students who have ADHD, you have students who have dyslexia, you have students who have all sorts of other challenges in life and you have to find a way to communicate to them. I know that the first time I had a hearing impaired student he did tell me that I was facing the board too much. This was a few years back so I was still using the whiteboard more and so I had to realize oh gosh I need to be looking at the class when I'm talking because he was he lip read he did lip reading and so I learned to make sure I was enunciating properly so he had a chance to lip read. The problem always is finding solutions for individual problems and since nearly everyone's disability is unique each situation gave us more things to work out. In the Recreation Administration Department we have had really great success with students who experience disabilities being successful in our classes. We've had students step outside of their comfort zone in many ways, students who are identified on the autism spectrum or students with chronic health concerns be able to take on very challenging and complex roles in leadership in environments that are very uncomfortable for them at the onset. When you make something accessible to all, it's probably going to be more accessible to everyone. It's like the whole thing with the cutouts in the, in the street that um, they're there for wheelchairs, but they end up being useful for a whole lot more people besides people with wheelchairs. Universal Design for Learning is a framework for learning that allows students, wherever they are, to access the curriculum, to show what they know, and to connect with it in deeper ways so that they want to learn. The, my goal with Universal Design is to minimize the, the accommodations that we need to make. If we create a curriculum that's accessible from the beginning, then we have to, go, we have to do less retrofitting. The whole idea is to give a level playing field. And if we don't do that, then we're going to miss people. There's not always equal opportunity, especially because professors around campus, and they should realize this, they dictate the rest of our lives. They are the people who are giving us the tools that we need in the future to become the people who we want to be. And when they don't give us the equal opportunity that we need, they're not only failing us, but they're failing themselves. I, I have trouble talking to teachers because I often find that my professors are unwilling to help me in the long run mm -hmm. trying to solve any issues I would have. I think anytime anyone brings the subject up and brings the focus back to accessibility is a good thing. And if we can't put that at the center of everything, if we can't make sure that our students are actually able to have access, then we're doing something really wrong because that's what we're here for. We're the guides. We're the people out there showing students where everything is at. And if our students can't actually get to it, then we're not doing our job. I think we're working on it. I think basically as we're learning how to do that, we're trying to do it more and more. There's still a lot of shame involved with this. We need to get rid of that. We're richer because of our diversity. And, um, and the more we see that attitude start to change, the less we start to other people and the more we start to include them. And I think that's when we truly start to see inclusion happen. If we don't reach out to people who have a disability, we're going to miss a whole bunch of people who could be really good chemists or really good scientists or really good people who find out that chemistry isn't really for them and they turn out to be a history major instead. Any of those things, we're, we're, we're missing out on people if we don't give them the proper opportunities to learn what they have to learn.